three unexpected signs your manifestation is on its way. This is the law of attraction and the truth is actually going to shock you here. This is Sri Akashna and I'm really excited to share with you these three signs because <laughs> when I first started manifesting things, I didn't know how to recognize these things. And as a result of it, I wasn't able to actually, it's almost like imagine what you want is on its way and right at the end, it kind of slips. So you don't want to let it slip. That's why we're going to dive straight into it. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. video I'm going to break down for you the three unexpected signs in terms of how you can start recognizing that what you want to attract is actually on its way. Now the first one I want to go dive straight into is, are you ready for this? <laughs> the loss of something. The loss of something. Now you're probably thinking what does that even mean and why is it that you're saying that I need to lose something, okay? It's like this. There's a saying that says, when your cup is full, stop pouring. And why is that so? It's because there is a container, you being the vessel, your life being the container. And this container has a capacity which it holds energy, whether it's positive energies, negative energies, right? Relationships, work, things to do, all these things are all energies. And a lot of the time we are holding on to certain things and when we're holding on to certain things, we are not letting go, allowing the old to go for the new to come in. However, the universe is extremely, extremely powerful. And so what it a lot of the time does is it actually takes the thing away from you. Now, you're probably thinking a loss of something, does that mean like a loss of life or loss of, you know, what does it mean? Actually, it can be anything. That's why even when our life is left in this physical form. And by the way, when we say leave, it never leaves like as in dies, dies, because energy can never die. It can, can't be created, can't be destroyed. It can only be transferred. So it's everlasting. However, it just leaves the space, the dimension that you're in. But when that happens, what happens is new things come into your life. That's why actually, if you recall from now on, every single time you lose something, like you're sure you had your phone, someone stole it, or uh, a loss of somebody who's close to you, or maybe a relationship breakup, or something leaves your life, you will find that you will start attracting, something else will come into your life. And that happens a lot. That's why sometimes when you see, oh, I've lost something, if in those moments you panic, you enter into panic mode and you focus on what you've lost and you're thinking, why is this happening to me? Then you shift into negative vibration while the thing was coming your way because the universe was helping you empty the cup for the new thing to come your way, right? So everything was on its way. It's like on the tip of it, it's coming, it's nearly there. And then what happens is, and then suddenly you start shifting into negative focus. Why is this happening to me? And what happens? That blocks the law of attraction from allowing you to manifest what you want. That's why you need to be very aware and careful. When things go, trust. Take a deep breath in and out. Trust that the universe is preparing everything for the new things to come into your life. So that's number one. The second thing, okay, is odd requests. Okay, now some of you are thinking, what does it mean, odd requests, okay? Odd requests, they work like this. Maybe, um, maybe you're trying to attract the love of your life. Uh, or maybe you're trying to attract a new job, a new career, a new opportunity or money into your life. Now, you need to understand that law of attraction is talking about what you think about as a vibration. Therefore, you attract something. And a lot of that time, when we are talking about that, we're talking on a spiritual form, on a non-physical form. This thing we want to manifest into existence, into the physical form. 
So when we want that to happen, there needs to be physical interactions. What does this mean? Um, I'll give you an example. So let's say you want to manifest the love of your life. And then uh, let's say it's a, it's a boy you want to manifest, okay? It's a man, a guy. Now, if there's a guy that you want to manifest right now, and then what happens is every day you're getting this odd request, right? From a cousin, a family member, that's a girl, or another one of your girlfriends who are asking you to go out, go out for dinner, or go to, go, go to a club, or go out to, I don't know, whatever you do, right? Go out shopping or whatever it is. And you keep getting this request recently, right? A lot of the time, it's the way the universe is delivering the package, meaning the universe needs to send a delivery boy or delivery girl to actually take you to the place to meet the guy, okay? And that's why a lot of the time, actually, if you recall how your life has panned out so far, it's never that you close your eyes, okay, come my way, come my way, come my way, you open your eyes and then the guy's in your bed, right? Right in front of you. That doesn't happen. That's not how manifestation works because it requires the energies to channel through physical bodies to actually take you along the journey to get what you want. That's why now you can start recognizing, hey, I'm getting this odd request recently from this person, although that specific person is not what I'm trying to manifest, I realized I had placed my manifestation out there. Therefore, everything that is coming my way is part of my manifestation. So I should be looking at every opportunity and saying yes, keeping an open mind and flowing with the universal energies. Moving on to point number three, the third sign. Okay, The third sign is talking about um, the toughest challenges. So what do I mean by that? A lot of the time, people see um, challenges like, yeah, law of attraction is not working for me, okay? In fact, that's a wrong statement in itself because law of attraction is working all the time. However, it's when challenges happen, people start getting disheartened and saying, why is this happening to me? Because what I want, I don't feel I'm attracting. But the universal energies right? The universe, God, the divine, whatever you want to call him, her, it, okay? Whatever you want to call it is watching over and they will only give you what you can handle. So the container, again, the container needs to be ready. So what does that mean? They will put testers here for you to see how you overcome challenges. But the biggest problem is that a lot of people, they see the challenges and then they shift straight into negative vibration again, therefore attracting more negativity in their life and then pushing the thing that the universe wants to deliver further and further away. So instead, maybe you're going through some very tough challenges right now and yet you want to manifest something else. What you need to do instantly is to appreciate the challenges. Look from a different perspective. See it and say, ah, universe is trying to test me right now. I'm going to prepare myself, be a very good container. But it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm not going to shift myself into negativity, right? Instead, I'm going to focus on the positive. I trust the universe. I let go and I trust and I allow and I keep focusing purely on positivity. And by doing that, with these three signs, as long as you know how to adapt to them, you will find what you want. The manifestation will come straight into your hands and straight into your life. Guys, I hope this video has been of some use to you. And if it has, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your thoughts or your aha moments, we always say in the creator circle, because it's always nice to know what you guys are learning, how you're picking it up. And when you start typing your learnings out, what happens is it reconditions your mind. So it logs into the subconscious and conscious mind on a deeper level. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification button next to it. That's that little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, <laughs> namaste, ciao.